Hey, hey, welcome to Linda's Electric Coulters. It's Corey and Diana here with you. And we are super excited for yes. this fun little question and answer session. Yes. Um, based on some products that we have reviewed mm -hmm. in the past video since our last Q&A. Yeah. Um, along with just your general questions about products that we carry. Yeah. Um, we have a lot of people that always call and ask, well, how do I use this? Or I want a little bit more information about this. Or I'd like to see this. And there's only so many hours in a day that we can do videos. Exactly. So we thought we'd bring it to you all at one time. Yeah, and we figure since most of you guys are probably sitting at home right now, whether you're piecing or quilting or watching us, I hope you're watching us, we are here to entertain you too. Right? Yes, we are. We probably won't sing and dance, but we will entertain. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. Alrighty. So we're just going to do some little house cleaning, make sure that we're live on both platforms real quick. So just hang on for just a second. How's it look over there? Um, let's see. I think we're good. It's going in and out though. We're still here, we're just checking. It shows to me. No, it's not talking. Oh. Well, it looks like that we are online. So if you are there, make a comment, tell us that you're there, say hi, and that'll help us determine whether this is working or not. <laughs> uh, everyone's saying it's working well on YouTube. Okay, perfect. From what I can see. Okay. So we're, also, we're, we're streaming on a multi-platform. Um, if you didn't know, we were able to merge the platforms together. So we're on YouTube right now, but we're also on Facebook. So hi to everybody that's following us. Um, so yeah, let's just get started. Okay, we're good. Start. Alrighty. You know, with this new technology that we've been playing with, sometimes it wants to work, sometimes it doesn't. So we just have to make sure we're on par for y'all because you know how we are about angles and stuff, well, at least me. Okay. So, Diana, um, over the past couple of months, it's been a while since we did our last question and answer session. It has. It's yeah. been a while. So, um, let's go ahead and talk through, what do you want to hit first? What's the first thing you want to hit? Um, let's just talk about, well, let's see. Does anybody have any questions about you, what you want to hit first? Um, good morning from Australia. Everyone's working well. Oh, I miss uh, Southern Bells, too. Yeah, we got Australia, New York, Arizona. Yeah, let us know where you're watching from. Drop it in the comments. Just up the road in Van Alstine. So, so awesome. We're all good. Okay. We're getting people um, okay. Let's do, you want to talk about panels? Yeah, let's talk about panels. You want to talk about panels? Yeah. Okay. Um, so, the last couple of videos that we have shown, we've talked about the new Dream Big Dance panels. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. We've talked about the Royal Beauties panels, which I know you like. I do. I actually made two art pieces for the house. Okay. Who's both? I? <laughs> Whoa, back up, back up slick. I can cut this off real quick. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> Corey and I. <laughs> May took those panels, it put them into wooden frames and hung them in my house and they look like canvas art on the it's wall. Absolutely they are so beautiful. Pretty. And we'll put them in the community page on YouTube and then post it on Facebook later yes. on. So you but they're the super cool how you just I just we literally took a panel yep. and made the wood frame. Mm-hmm stapled it on and hung it and it's just gorgeous oh, it looks great and it's yeah. i mean that that size piece of art yeah. at the store y'all know about the store at that the at home or the home goods something like that, that's like two three hundred dollars yeah just for that size itself yeah and for like 30 bucks 30 bucks we made it yep there you threw go. it on the wall called it a day it looks good <laughs> exactly um, and we also have a video on our youtube channel showing you how we did that with the nightlife panel exactly so same idea uh -huh. um for this one that we did in her house we actually did a little bit of a thicker wood yeah we did for that one yeah, just because she wanted to hang a little bit different um, but other than that, it looks great, and it was super easy. It was a fun little DIY Sunday project. Exactly. Yes. Why don't we show them the, the, some of the pan dance panels that okay. we're working on? So, I'm just going to move that up a little mm -hmm. bit. So, we are currently working North on North Carolina, two different Georgia, ones. Kentucky. And when I say, hey, everyone. Yay. Sorry, go ahead. You can keep talking. <laughs> when I say we, we're eh, currently working on two <laughs> different ones. I, I this came is up with the, the design. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> this is the Aurora. Big dream, dream big dance. Mm -hmm. And so we kind of went with just the natural flow of the lines. Diana picked one ray that she really liked, and then she wanted me to work that around the whole entire thing. Mm -hmm. um, so it has a little bit denser space here, and then it opens up a little bit further out here. So it looks really, really cool. And we are using a variegated thread on this as well. Let me see. Should, can we go over there so they get a little bit closer, you think? We'll try it. Or go over there. Fine. We're gonna... um, we can take it up in front. Okay. I'll follow you. Okay. Watch out for the cords. You would go the way with the cords. I would go the way with the cords. Okay, there you go. 
can All right, so hopefully there. they can see that okay. Flip the computer around, we'll check. This is different. <laughs> Our studio people aren't here. I know. Okay. Um, so this one, I don't know if y'all can tell. I know there's a little bit of wrinkle in the fabric there. Sorry about that. Um, but just went with the natural flow of that first ray and then did that all the way around in a circle, um, which was really, really cool. Kind of echoed that as well, so it backtracked really nice. Um, yeah. And let's see. Do I have something? Oh, you can see a little bit. You see it's it on the, back. on the back. Maybe. I don't know. Well, yeah, I think you can see the definition a little bit better. Yeah, so it starts with the center piece here and then yeah. comes out to the sides. We haven't finished the bottom yet, but we got yeah. that far. So this was one idea, kind of just working with something very simple. Yeah, I'll grab the other with one. With those rays. And the other one, this one's the Dream Big Dance. This one's Lime. Yeah, this is Lime. That's what it's called. And I went with a different approach on this one for myself. Um, this one has concentric circles here in the center that overlap each other to the center point. And then I did some freehand out here, just following up the rays. And I'm going to kind of do the same thing to kind of shadow it and mirror it. Um, but that's what I did with this one, variegated lime green thread. And y'all are going really to really freak out, but the back is a contrasting backing. I'm very in right now to switching up what you would normally think needs to be done. So I still did lime thread, but the, the lime green and magenta are contrasting colors on the color wheel. So they work really well together with our eyes. So it's just those concentric circles that overlap each other, and then kind of that little freehand stuff that I did there. Yeah, so, so again, halfway done with this one too, but we yep. thought that we'd kind of show you what we were trying to play with, and we would love for you, if you have one of these, um, and you're playing with it, to post a picture either on the YouTube community or send us a picture on Facebook, and we'd love to share it with everyone else. For sure, Especially yeah. Especially if you have it finished. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you can inspire a lot of people. I'm getting there, I'm getting there, <laughs> We're trying getting to. getting there. <laughs> All righty, you want to swipe back to questions? Um, beautiful, gorgeous, thanks for the close-up. Everyone's liking it. Yay. Cool. Okay, so the next thing, let's talk about our um, little dream catcher panel thing. Not panel, oh, sorry. Okay, the silhouette? Yeah, silhouette, okay. thank you. Um, so we I, have I these... also brought out some spring ones just to kind of give an idea, but let's oh, show cool. what it looks like. Okay, um, so we have these um, laser cut silhouettes that um, are already pre-cut and then you just iron them on to the backing fabric of your choice. Mm -hmm. It's always nice to go with more of a batik. I'll bring it up close um, to go with a batik because it has yeah. all those different color ranges in it. So we did a video on how to do this and how easy it is. And this would be such a fun project to do while you guys are at home. Let's flip um, this around. Angles, angles. Yeah, angles. <laughs> it's all about angles. This would definitely be a fun project for you guys to do while you're home. We have different silhouettes. That's the fun spring one we did. Mm -hmm. um, and thinking of spring, we have two other ones too. So Corey, you might want to be able to show these close. They're not made up, but they'll give you the pictures. Okay. So I'm going to come over here. So we have this one right here that's got some little hummingbirds and flowers, a good spring one called Humming Along. And another good one for this help uh, during this season um, is this one right here. It's kind of for Easter. He is risen. So we have these two different ones in stock and online, but really easy, fun projects that you could do while you are at home. So and definitely if you ever have any questions about anything we've ever done, uh, let us know. Yeah, for sure. Um, so these were really cool, super simple silhouettes we just ironed on. It was, it was actually kind of nifty. Yeah, it really yeah. was. Like I said, it was super simple and that, that we have that video available. Um, okay, let's go on to, let's see. You want to talk about threads? Yeah, let's talk about threads. Good. Alrighty, so Fantastico was also another thread line that we showed. Right. Um, so if you remember, it's kind of like the shinier thread. Corey, you want to talk a little bit about it in case anybody has any questions on Fantastico? So Fantastico is a um, Tex 40, if I'm not mistaken. Might be a 30, actually. Um, but it is a shimmery trilobal polyester thread, which means there are three um, strands that make it together. And Fantastico is a variegated thread. It's a weight 40. A weight 40, okay. Oh, you're good. Um, so it is a variegated thread, and it comes in inch increments. So the color um, changes every inch. Um, so it looks pretty nifty and actually pretty cool. Um, I've used Fantastico a lot. Um, I've also kind of found, uh, been really in love with Glide lately yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it, really it just, just has depends a, on your project. It, it's all yeah, it's personal preference and it's yeah. project based. Yeah. Um, but the Fantastico, like we said, trilobal polyester, nice and strong thread, um, gives it a beautiful sheen to work with, um, and you can just have that huge color range that there is with it. Yeah. No, nope, that sounds cool. So that was those are just three of the different Fantasticos we had open that we'd used in projects lately. Um, 
And it looks like we have something going on with our chat. Yeah, I decided to go a little crazy. Okay, can so. we see any chat from the phone? Yeah. We are still here and we're gonna start go looking at and seeing if we, you guys have any questions. The guys we're up to the phone and then. It's okay, it'll start populating again in a second. All righty. Any questions on what we have just shown you guys so far? Um, this is your time to ask us and other people are probably thinking the same thing. Um, so the panels, the silhouettes, the Fantastico thread. Uh, what size needle would you use with Fantastico? Um, well, with basically all of our threads, except for maybe micro quilter and bottom line, that's a possibility. Um, everything else, I'm staying with a size 4.0 needle or a size 18, depending on how you look at it. Um, a sharp needle, by the way. Yeah, unless, you're, unless you're doing t-shirt quilts, then you'd look at a ballpoint needle. Um, but that sharp needle works for the 4.0, works well across all of the threads that we carry. Mm -hmm. um, and so I've never had an issue. I've gone down needle size once, and that's to go with a really small thread just because I wanted a tiny, tiny, tiny hole. Um, but yeah, other than so we that, have a couple questions here. It looks like the feed's popping back up. That's awesome. But this one was before the feed. Um, it says, I made a couching table runner, and it was cool, but the yarn was not caught by the thread. What did I do wrong? So it probably depends on the couching uh, foot. Well, the first question is, uh, what machine do you have? That'd be a thing. Um, if you have a Gamel, there's only one couching foot. Other brands have multiple sizes yeah, of the couching foot. how would you double check that on a Gamel? Um, when it comes to mine, there's a little bit of a trick that you can do. Um, if you have a Gamel with your couching foot, um, we'll show you actually when we go over there. I put it the, the yarn also through the top thread guide. Yeah. So it kind of travels down with the thread, attaches to the fiber. That way it um, is easier for it to catch when it's stitching down, along with slowing down the machine a little bit. Yeah. Um, that helps a lot as well, or slowing down your speed, depending on if you have a computerized one or free motion. Yeah, and I um, think I have a video on how you did that on the couching yes. a while back. Yeah, I had a, a, couch, I have a couching YouTube. table runner on our but YouTube yeah, as well. Yeah, we do have that. We show you kind of how to catch that, th that thread in there. So those are good questions. Another question is, do we carry the full line of superior threads? So these are the, the, the we do carry most of them, not the full line, but we carry the Omni, mm -hmm. the Omni Variegated, mm -hmm. the King Tut, mm -hmm. the So Fine, mm -hmm. the Bottom Line, mm -hmm. Micro Quilter, Micro Quilter, <laughs> Mono Poly, mm -hmm. and a couple of the Metallics. There's one, we're missing one. Do you say Bottom Line? Nightlight. Nightlight. We got one, the Nightlight. Yeah, I said Bottom Line. So Fine. So Fine, fine. So okay, fine. yeah, well, that one. Yeah, and, oh, and Fantastico. <laughs> and Fantastico, the one we just thought, wow. Do you say King Tut? Yes, I did. Okay, there's a lot. We can, we we really like Omni Thread, or Omni Threads, Superior Threads. It's been a day, y'all. Yeah. Um, Superior Threads, and so we have most of their yeah, lines. Yeah, we do. We have most of their uh, most of their lines that you definitely would use for the quilting machines. Yep. Um, we also do carry American Eiffage Signature and Permacore mm -hmm. and Glide. Yes, we do. So we have a, a a huge range of thread for you we to do. choose yeah, from. This whole wall is just. <laughs> we have people that'll walk thread. in here and they'll be like, "Good night, you guys have tons of thread." A lot of thread. So, um, um, and again, we answer that question. Yes, we do carry glide threads. So, question uh, regarding to the, the silhouette. no, the Fantastica that we just uh -huh. showed. Hold on, one question at a time. Slow okay. down. Um, the Fantastica variegated that we just showed are 100% um, polyester. So, good question. Yes. Um, next question was in the silhouette. What is ironed on? So it actually comes with it in the package. So the all your you, you do all you need to really get is going to be your fabric and your your little dowel and your string. But the black stuff actually is already pre-cut in the package for you. Um, yeah, it's already lasered out. Let me go ahead and if you can switch it back over. Okay. I'm just going to kind of show the end of it. Good. Yeah. So if you if you see here, it's already cut and lasered and rolled up in here, so that black piece is actually attached to here. Yeah. So you just pull away the back. You just pulled just away. Pull and the away. video shows you how we did that. So you get that. That's in this whole package. It's already cut for you, ready to go. Right. That's what makes it so much e so easy. Yeah, it was really cool to iron it on. Because it's already ready for you. Yeah. And you it's don't a have to try to cut the butterfly. It is already there. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I didn't cut that. I know. That's a cute joke. <laughs> um, but it is a heat-activated yes. glue. So you mm -hmm. can set it wherever you want, place it around the batik to get the right color range that you want. Uh -huh. Then the second you press down with a dry iron, um, and press, yes, not iron. And not iron yeah. <laughs> um, it'll Small begin presses. to stick right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we learned that one in the video. Yep. <laughs> so, did you quilt the small panel? I if we're talking assume, about the. Is it this one? If we're talking about that. Mary, I'm only a little bit more clarification on the question. Did you quilt the small panel? Oh, well, we do have. Did you quilt the silhouette? That might be the same thing. Oh, I see. We I did see, not have to quilt the silhouette. Mm -mm. It is simple. You want to show the back of it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's just fabric. And it's actually been hanging in our window since we did the video. Yep. 
and then flip it back over. That's all it is. It's yep. that simple. It doesn't have to be quilted. No, it was really, really nice, like really so easy. so easy. Yeah. Um, going back to the couching question about yeah. the table runner, uh -huh. it is on a gamble machine. So, Helen, I would click your couching yarn in that top thread guide right above your needle. That helps a lot um, along with slowing down your machine because I believe you have a Statler, if I'm not mistaken. Fun, fun. Right. Okay, while we're waiting on more questions, let's go ahead and talk about what, um, let's talk about the fusible yeah, batting. Go ahead and go to fusible. Yeah. Since we're so, here. Corey, why don't you give a little more information? We have a really good video and showed you how to attach the fusible batting. Really good for domestic machine quilting, especially mm -hmm. if you know you're the one moving the fabric mm -hmm. um, underneath the head. We showed you how this was to attach it and how easy it was to use. Right. Yeah. Um, so the Hobbs Heirloom Fusible, um, we have it. We sell it in packages. Yes. So we have it in a crib size, which is 45 by 60, and then we have it in a queen size, size, which is 90 by 108. Mm -hmm. um, so what the Fusible is, is on the both sides, this is just a t traditional 80-20 batting, 80% yes. cotton, 20% polyester. Mm -hmm. um, and on both sides of the batting, there is a thin, thin layer of basically heat activated glue. Mm -hmm. uh, so what that means is whenever you have your quilt sandwich ready, um, you begin with your dry iron, just pressing in certain spots. You have to press and hold for like five to 10 seconds, yeah, uh, depending. Like that. Mm -hmm. um, and it also is a light glue, so you can peel back and make some adjustments if you need to, like mm -hmm. if you have a wrinkle in the fabric or anything yeah. like that. Um, so you can press in those sections, be good to go all the way throughout and then flip it to the other side, do the same thing. Mm -hmm. And it is water soluble. So once you wash the quilt for the first time, all that glue disappears and exactly. it begins to loft up the way that we really like. Yeah, it's just really to help hold that in place. So if you're using like a basting spray or a glue spray to do it now, this is just a way to go ahead and have it in um, the batting, but then it's made to wash out. Exactly. So it's going to wash out for you. Yeah. Helps so, out really, really nice. Yeah, so any questions on the fusible batting? Again, everything we're talking about, we've done videos on in mm -hmm. more depth, but we just want to see if you had any questions um, on that. So we'll pull that aside there. Yeah, we'll talk about this one. Oh, okay. Oh, we, we forgot to mention this is one of the brands we carry for Superior. Oh, gosh. <laughs> so we actually are, <laughs> are one of the retailer distributors for Pima Cotton. It's a newer... Uh, superior thread that mm -hmm. came out a few months ago um, and so although the cone is small it has quite a bit on there and you mm -hmm. did but a whole quilt what size was that quilt that you did with one of these it was 60 by 60 and you used one uh, yeah mm -hmm. I mean I had two but if because I had one on the bobbin winder and one on the machine if okay. I would only use just one I would have got away with using one and it was a custom quilt yeah just a small little yeah, yeah. so I mean it has quite a bit on there so the yardage is 1200 yards on here mm -hmm. why don't you describe the Pima cotton so it's like a, it's a so this is weight. it's a 50 weight um, it's a nice thinner thread uh, the way this Pima cotton is made it is made with Pima cotton 100% and it's nice and thin and it works really well for all sorts of things. For instance, we use this um, really nice and really well for stitch in the ditch. It looks really nice with that. In this color, in this Pima cotton, this is a 8010, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think so. yeah 8010. This is um, that really nice neutral color that works well across so many different types of fabrics. It just kind of sucks up the color. Mm -hmm. But with this Pima, it's great for piecing. Um, one of the ladies that works here loves to piece with it. Yeah. It's great for quilting. Uh, it just It's a really nice, soft thread. It was really fun to quilt and uh, work with. Yeah, it, it worked was out nice. really well. I yeah. mean, we put them on the gambles and use it without a problem. Yeah. So, awesome. So, that's a nice one. Um, and then, kind of backtracking to, a, a lot of people ask me about color. Okay. Because uh, I love, absolutely love color. And I love color matching and working with it. Uh -huh. So Superior, as many of you know, and if you don't know, here's a little tidbit. Um, with their threads, most of their colors correspond to all of their other lines. Yeah, and within, for within, the lines within, we carry. <clears throat> for the lines right we carry, yeah. yeah. Um, so like this color in Omni is 3021, ash gray. Yeah. Um, but this color works really well. They have it in Sofine. It's in bottom line. It's in Micro Quilter. Yeah, pretty a similar but it's, color. But a similar color, but it, they work. Really it's well just together. beautiful. This blends really nice. Um, but I, I like the Pima thread. It yeah. just comes in a little bit of a smaller spool. Yeah, it works really good. Yep. Let's see if we have any questions on that. Do, do, do. Um, so with the fusible batting, does it gum up the needle? And it does not. It is a thin enough layer yeah. that once it's heated on, I didn't have a single issue at all. No. You don't really ever notice it. 
yeah, once it's I've, done. Yeah, I haven't heard, ever heard of it, mm -hmm. well, at least on the Hobbs brand. I'm not sure about other brands, Correct. at least on the Hobbs yeah. brand, that it doesn't gum up the needle. Right. Um, then we have another question. Are the Gamble Cutty Mints back in stock? They are not back in stock right now, but as soon as they are, we will let you guys know. Yep. Um, so do we want to... You want to bounce over to the machine for a second? Yeah, let's okay. do that. We have a few uh, things that we talked about that we were going to show you over on the machine. Um, like Corey is moving the camera over there so we don't make you sick. Let's see. Kate says, I'm very intrigued by the Silhouette Kit. Which ones do you have in stock again? I see several on your website. Okay, so we have all of them in stock that are on our website. So we really try our, the, our best to keep our website up to date. Every once in a while, something will run out, especially when it comes to fabric, before we can catch it. Um, but yeah, so everything that's online is we do have in stock. We also have these little small picture things. Let me go grab one. Sorry, we're rather seeing from it. That'll be really cute for a kid's project. Yeah. We haven't done a video on it yet. Right. Um, but super fun. So I'm going to bring it up here. Go ahead. Yeah. So they basically comes with, it's called the Silhouette Hoop Collection. So it's going to come with the hoop, the Silhouette Cutout. You want to toss me one? Oh, you want to open it up? Well, I don't not really open it up, but it's easier for them to see it from over here because the camera's up there pretty tall and you're kind of short. I am not that short. <laughs> Vertically yeah, challenged. I don't know how you got your height. Yeah, you're, this, he has this up really tall. And then so, he's got this new fancy light. I do have a new fancy light. I'm but I excited. had to have him tone it down. I'm like, I'm too old to have bright lights on me. I have a new fancy light. <laughs> I like that. I like my fancy light. So this will kind of give you an idea of what the silhouette actually is. Oh, imagine this, but idea. in a bigger yeah. size. Yeah, we're Let's open this one. There we go. Okay. Kate, Corey's got your back. He's going to take it out all for you to show you. There we go. That is a really go. good idea. Okay. And then it comes with that so and this that. little thing to hold it in this little project. Oh, yeah. Well, we'll just since we're showing we'll that just project. Do okay. So I can flip it around on it. How do I move this again? For what? Let's see if there's any other comments. Oh, this slide. Way. Technology. <laughs> all right. So this was just the backing fabric, let's say. And then this is the little silhouette that gets printed and it's already pre-cut and you can kind of just manipulate it. I don't know where I am camera wise, Diana. Oh, actually, hold on. Oh, no. Way to go. I don't want to mess anything up. So. All right. I got it. <laughs> so this is um, kind of, it's already pre-cut, but you can move it around on that batik to kind of get the right color range that you want. And once you're done and kind of have it set, peel off that white backing there, place it, and then take a dry iron and set it right down. So this one has the hoop. So if you just want to set it in the hoop and lock it down that way. There's a bunch of different ways to do it, but it's, it's really cool actually. Yeah, it's cool. So I'm glad you were able to show that example of a sil the silhouette. This is just the baby one yeah. with the hoop, but imagine, so imagine how big, th the, all larger. the other silhouettes are like that big. Yeah. So it's all ready for you to go. So we'll just kick that out of the way for right now. Yep. Um, it's, what is the name of the gray that blends? Do you remember the name? It's 8010 it. is the number. <laughs> I'll go pull all of them. I'm so excited. This is my favorite thing. <laughs> so I am running over to our fast thread wall real quick. <laughs> He's going to pull the grays from the superior line that are blenders. So depending on what brand um, that you use, whether it's So Fine, Omni, uh, Pima, he's going to tell you what colors actually match with that. So and I actually have one for Glide as well that I have fallen in love with. All right, we'll so come over and show it. I'm coming back. Here I am. OK, um, so depending on either if you're using Pima cotton, this one's going to be 8010. It's called Silver. Um, for Omni, it's 3021 Ash Gray. Okay. For So Fine, it's 504. I believe it's called Silver Screen. Don't quote but me on that, but it's 504. 504. <laughs> um, for Micro Quilter, which is another great one for Stitch in the Ditch, really this is, is 100 weight. It's super thin, but uh -huh. y'all, it's good. Yeah. Background quilting mm -hmm. kind of disappears. It's nice. This one's 7007. Um, so those are the superior lines that we carry yeah. that I really like. It just kind of, it just absorbs all color. The, all the same color. And they right. Absorb it. Yeah. Um, and then for Glide, uh, the 17443 Bone, I've used that a lot on yeah. a bunch of different quilts. Um, and it's also one of those blending colors that just absorbs well, it. Well, it does. And you can look at it depending on what you have it next to. It kind of pulls that color. So yeah, that's definitely okay. <laughs> um, so it works really well that way. But those are my go-tos when it comes to blending. Um, when I've just got a quilt in front of me that I'm like, I don't know what I want to do, I'm going to throw one of those blender colors on it. Yeah. Um, so does Fantastico Thread quilt like Glide? 
would say um, pretty much. I mean, right? it, it, Quilt's uh, comparable, comparable to it. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't say it's exactly like it because uh, Glide's a little thinner than yeah. Fantastico is. Okay, yeah, you're right. Um, but they still quilt very similar to each other, and yeah. I don't have an issue with either one no, of them. No, but they have the same sheen. So yes. they both have sheen. Right. The thing with Fantastico is it's variegated. Correct. So it doesn't. Fantastico doesn't come in a solid. They're all variegated. Yes. Lots of beautiful variegated. Beautiful. And we have the full variegated. line as yes. well online. Whole line on that one. All right. Do yeah. well. Let's actually show why we're over, over there here. Too. Okay. Yeah, I might as well just do that one over oh, there. Oh, did you already get the camera over there? Yep. All right, so you're going to... Yep, so we're going to go ahead and bounce over to the machine to show you a few other things um, that we've been working with uh, on there, and Diana has made her way over there, so let's switch cameras, and I'll let her take it over. All right, so the first thing we're going to show you um, is we're going to actually show you how to put on these clamps. So we get a lot of people that ask us about... Um, side grips and how we you know, hold the side of the machine, things like that. Mm -hmm. um, so Corey's going to show you how to put those on real quick, just so you can see how they work. Yeah, so these are called uh, they're side grips by Leader Grips, that's the name of the company. And traditionally, we're used to putting on our clamps on our fabric like that. And where's my other one over here? And like this. Yes. And with that being said, I know it's going to be hard to tell, but you have an uneven pull on the fabric. It kind of concaves in like that, or convexes out, depending on how you're looking at it. Look at me, <laughs> using that brain. Um, so depending on how you look at it, it has a little bit of a bow to it. And so if you're wanting to have one nice, even pull, these are a really, really nice way to do that. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is I'm working with the 18-inch set because I have a 30-inch throat. Um, these also work for a 26-inch throat. They come in other sizes as well, um, 10 inch, 14 inch, and an 18 inch. So just keep that in mind when you're looking at depending on what your quilting area is for your machine. You just want to keep that one in mind. But basically what they have is they have this nice rod in them and then it has the snap clip that is a little shorter than the rod. That's okay. That's how it's supposed to be. So I'm going to take these off, set those off to the side. I'm going to pop this off just like this and it's really easy, really nice to do it. And this just goes right underneath the fabric. Okay, and I'm just doing this on the backing fabric, and I can put my little snap piece on, and I'll find where the top of it is, because I want to snap that together, and I just push down, just like that, and now I've got one nice even pull that I only use one clamp on, so she'll put one clamp on that, I don't know if you can see that side, um, but there's just one clamp to that ribbon, and then it's pulled nice and taut, but it keeps it all the way nice, nice flow, Nice pull. And with these, um, if your machine also happens to bump it, not run over it, but if you accident, if you need to get really close to it, it doesn't like spring back or get away. It has a nice hold to it. It's not going anywhere. Oh, that's good. I so that. it's nice just in case you accidentally bump it or if you pull this too tight, it's not going anywhere. So another thing, the reason why it's shorter on the bottom, they did this on purpose, give your thumb a place to set right there and you can pull it off really easily. Just like that. There you go. Yeah, we've had a lot of people ask us how to use them um, and so, or, or other ways that they could Yeah, other ways grip. to use their and sides so thought, grips or different things like that. I thought we would show that really, really quick. Yeah. All right, so next thing is I'm going to show the pounce while Corey goes over and sees if we have any more questions. So if you have, if you had a chance, now this is going to be more for probably more of the um, freehander or free motion, but if you have a computerized machine, you can do this as well. So if you have one of these stencils, they're called the Design with Lines stencils. Um, we carry the full line here. You flip it over and you actually just gonna take your pounce powder and you're gonna just pounce it on. Kind of that rubbing motion, sometimes pouncing can bounce it around a little bit, but if you rub around it, that'll work. Um, did you talk about label? I didn't, about okay. how the label needs to be down. Yeah, so there is a label on all of those. And Diana, if you flip it around. There's a label on all of them that reads what it is. That label should be facing towards the fabric because this stencil has a tad bit of a little bit of an up groove here. So when you push that powder across it, it grabs it out of it and places it where it needs to. So this just has a little bit more of a lift there that you can just easily get right on and take care of. Yeah, that. and then there's, so, there's tons of different designs. We just had this one out and you can actually, well, I, I kind of over pounced, but you know, you know, this is, you can see how well it works. <laughs> um, and literally, you can just take the, your machine 
and it's kind of like a guideline. So if you wanted to design something inside of here, say I wanted to do like feathers or something to that effect, then um, I could do that. Um, what was your question? I was just saying switch your hands so they could see it. Oh, sorry. No, you're fine. <laughs> Um, so if I wanted, or if I wanted just to use this as a guideline and go in and out, mm -hmm. you know, I, do we have the machine connected? The machine's on, yeah. Um, I really like to use this basic like eight um, for finding centers of blocks. It helps a whole lot, especially from a computerized standpoint. When I want to find the exact center, I can um, use that to find the center of the block. And I'm going to grab one real quick so I can give you an idea what I mean. And while he's grabbing that, I thought, why not just show you something quick real quick. All righty. Okay. So, I am going to pull up my thread here. This will be And I am not a pro, like yeah, me, me. This will be good. But it gives you an idea of how you can use this as a guideline. So, if I'm trying to stay in between here, just like a back and forth, Just gives you an idea of how kind of where it stays right there. You go, girl. Look at yeah. you. Fancy. All right. You want to show some other stuff, kind of? Um, so this would be an idea. Let's say like these are. Uh, this is one of my blocks. Now, granted, this is quilted, not a fabric piece. But let's say that this is a block that I'm working with. And if I wanted to find the exact center of that block per se, I can use my stencil. And the outer four lines of this block, right here, right here, right here, the outer four corners, excuse me, I'll have these lines hit those corners, and I can see right through this, right here, I know it's hard for you, probably harder for you to see on camera, but I can see right through this, and I can look, and with the head of my machine, if I need to find exact center placement, this goes right over this piece, and once I find that exact center placement, I can place my machine right there, and I can move this out, and that's the exact center of my block. So I use that a lot for finding exact centers all over the place. Oh, okay. um, so that helps maybe if I want to do some radiating lines and I want them to go out of the center. Yeah. Um, I use this a lot even though I have a computerized machine. I use these stencils like crazy. Yeah. And we have, so we have so many different designs. That was just kind of one to show you a quick idea. Right. Does anybody have any questions about the design with lines? So we do have a video out there on how to use this, you know, step by step. And we do have a bunch of them. We still need to make some more videos on those, Corey. Yeah, okay. Add that to my <laughs> list of stuff to do. Um, so, but yeah, the designs with lines, they work really well. Um, you've got all sorts of stuff for different borders. Um, there's amazing books and different design ideas in those books for them as well. Um, they come in all sorts of different kits. Um, many, many, many things. I think Diana's going to grab a book. But we can look at this one. Remember, the printed part of the label has to be facing down. And I'll put this part right here, go over her beautiful work, take my pounce powder, and just go across this lightly. And that gives me an idea to work from. So I can see that, and it's pounced right there. So let's just show some of the designs in the books. Um, so this works with the Basic 8 stencil, which is this main one. This and is they used have a, a lot. one too, that's just a larger one. Correct. Um, but there's all sorts of different design ideas in. in the design ideas, it shows you exactly, I guess I can move up a little bit. There we go. <laughs> it shows you exactly where to start, the arrows to quilt it out, where to end, what the final placement's going to look like. There are so many different ideas in here for y'all. Yeah, the basic eight has tons of different things you can do. Oh, I love a good basic so there's eight. there's book one and two, and this is book three and four. Correct. And there's just so much information on there. Right. And then here's just the basic, like, backgrounds and designs. It's like if you wanted to do some background fills. Yeah, so all sorts of different ideas. Um, so it gives you a starting point, and then you just kind of follow uh, the rest of it. But there's all sorts of different background fill designs, pebbles, all sorts of things like that. And then circles, and that goes with a circle template. If you are use these and you have a question on maybe one of the books that come with it, or some, you know, we could open up a book and show you a few of the pages. Uh, definitely let us know. Yeah, so this one, um, this one works off the circle stencil, which is right here, and then you can also see it has that basic eight dotted behind it, and you're following that just to go with the natural flow of both of those stencils, but you have that circle to get that outer range and that basic eight to find where your center points are 
of your different arcs. So we have a good question um, from Betsy. She's asking, are we pulling the fabric taut on the side with the clamps? Basically, are we pulling the back fabric tight? She didn't think you were supposed to do the back fabric. And actually, you are supposed to do the back fabric. You don't want to do your top or your batting. Right. So Corey will show you one more time. So with this one, just going on the back fabric. And I'm not doing it super tight, um, but I am holding it enough. Where, let me roll this batting out of the way, y'all. Sorry about that. Put that there. Lay this rod right underneath it. Come here and just push it right down. So kind of start at the top and work your way down until it snaps together and then you have that hold. Just yes, like so. You, so. you definitely want to put it on your back and that's where you're supposed to uh, kind of stabilize it is from the back. Not Correct. your batting or your top. So just like Corey just showed you. Yep. And then take it off, put your thumb on that longer rod piece which is right underneath it and pull the top clamp. Just like awesome. so. Okay, well, let's just show them one more thing while we're over here. We will show them the Ether thread. Yes. Um, so, Diana, why don't you, you like the Ether thread? I mean, I like it too, <laughs> but you like to talk about it. So, go ahead. All right. So, we, we actually uh, bottle and package this Ether thread here. It's a silicone lubricant, reduces thread breakage, um, shredding, lint buildup. It's really nice. Now, we first started using it to put on cotton thread. So, I get a lot of questions how do I put it on? Literally, you just go down the side like that. So you do one, two, three. Then what I do, I see I have it on there. I'm going to wind my bobbin then. And then if I needed to add some more along the way, I can still add some more. But it really does help with that. So I can use it on cotton. I can use it on metallic. Mm -hmm. And the idea of it is it's actually, it's putting basically that lubricant on here. So if you think about how many times this thread goes through the guides on your machine, whether you have a gamble or other machine, it's going through all those guides. So zoom, think about it going all the way to those guides and how it's grabbing lint and fibers off of each time, right? Mm -hmm. So by the time this little piece gets to the needle, you know, it's already, it's, it's already thinner than that because of the fact that how it's been shredding along the way just a tad, just right, a little just bit. Just a tad, but you also have to think when it's going through the needle itself, um, there's a really good uh, video on, um, I believe it's our YouTube channel, um, or it might be a link on our YouTube channel, talking about thread. But when these machines are stitching, and it's not only a gamble, it's with any machine itself, this, that, this single, let's say, inch piece of thread right here, little inch piece that I have, if I can hold on to it, goodness gracious, about inch, that goes back and forth through the needle so many times before it actually even gets stitched. Yes. So that's where a lot of your thread breakage comes from because as that machine's going through, all that friction back and forth behind that needle before it actually even goes into the fabric to get stitched, mm -hmm. that's where a lot of that comes from. Especially if you're using a cotton thread that tends to be a little bit more brittle because it's a it's 100% cotton. It's a natural fiber. Yeah, it's and, going and to it doesn't have way. any coating on it from the factory. Right. So, yeah. So, it needs that little bit of extra moisture to lock down those fibers and just to get it to go through that needle. Yeah, it's so much just easier. helping it glide through a lot easier. And another way that you can use this without using easy thread if you wanted to um, is you can put it in the freezer overnight. Mm -hmm. The idea is you just want to get that moisture back into that thread. And that really works good with the cotton thread, too. Just throw it in the freezer without the plastic on it and then let it thaw out. But this is just like a quick, easy, let's put it on and go. I think it's like four bucks and you know, it, it's nice, definitely nice to have in your arsenal. For sure. Okay, I'm gonna go back over here to you, Corey. Alrighty. Um, I have a few questions and comments. Um, Ease of thread is the best. Thank you, Tarina. Um, I found Ease of thread, it helps great with machine embroidery thread as well. I didn't okay. even think about that, Good, so party you. on there. Yeah. Um, how does the lubricant affect the mechanisms in the machine? Any side effects, any buildup? Um, it is a super thin silicone lubricant that yeah. evaporates, so it doesn't have any buildup at all. Um, yeah. It's going to evaporate. It's not going to affect the fabric by any yeah. means. Um, it doesn't affect the machine from our testing standpoints that yeah. we've done over years. Yeah. Never had an issue. No, we haven't had an issue with it. Yep. Um, all right, so out of everything we've shown, do you guys have any questions? Any final question? You know, one thing we actually did forget to say, I don't know, I don't think we said this, unless you said it and I really wasn't paying attention. Sorry. Um, all the time. Yeah, well, facts. <laughs> um, that we are still open and shipping out orders. Oh, 
yeah, we didn't, we forgot that. Obviously, that we're here at our store. Hey. <laughs> um, we are still open. Um, our storefront is open. We are shipping orders out daily. Mm -hmm. um, so don't think that if you put the order in, you have to wait for the two weeks or week or whatever. We are shipping out daily. So as long as your logistics is working in your state, which my understanding is they are, mm -hmm. which is UPS, FedEx, things like that, um, you should be getting your orders. We are shipping those out. Um, if you do come over to the store, you are welcome to put your order in online and just put pick up at store and call us when you get here and we'll bring it to your car. Yeah, we do offer um, curbside pickup now do so you don't curb, have to get out. Yeah, we do have curbside pickup. We always have to limit the people in the store and six feet apart. We follow all the rules. Um, yeah, except... I like that actually. We should stay six feet <laughs> apart more often. That's fun. In that case, we'd be like <laughs> really apart. Hi. I mean, they can still see us. We got wide angles. We're good. There we go. I love angles. Um, but yeah, so we are here. So, you know, definitely we are shipping stuff out daily. And we do want to thank you all so much from a small business standpoint. Yes. I know a lot of you think we are this huge corporation. We're not. Um, <laughs> we're not. We, it's, we're a small business, and we thank you very, very much for supporting small businesses across the United States right now and across the world yeah. uh, right now during this um, pandemic that we're in. Um, yeah, it really, really helps us that. because that allows us to still come to work. So yeah. thank you for the lights on. We're thank so you. small that there's only two of us here today. It's just us. <laughs> just us. Just doing, us today. Back in the orders, answering the phones. Go everything. team. We are here for you. <laughs> <laughs> so, All righty. Let's see if there's any more. Um, use for yours, no problem. Can we come pick up batting? Yes. yes you have, yeah. Batting is still available for pickup. Like Diana said, we do offer curbside. So if you order it online, you can choose that pickup in store option. Yep. And call, and call us when you here. get here and we'll bring it out to you. Yep. yep. We still have it. In fact, in fact, we just got a fresh load of batting in on Monday because we were totally out. We were. <laughs> Y'all depleted us. So thank you for that. <laughs> yes. Um, however, we just got uh, uh, fully a fully stocked load in. in. Um, yeah. Already got out of two already. Yeah. Uh, but that's okay. Yep, we're good. So let's see. Um, what do you use to get the chalk out? Um, so getting the chalk out of the fabric, that's a good question for the pounce powder. Yeah. There used to be a product on the on the market which is no longer made. It was discontinued. Yeah. Um, which works really, really well. Um, it was called so, so clean. clean. Yeah. Um, so that worked really well. Um, two, is it two of them? Two of the powders that we carry are iron off. One of them. Uh, so the white powder is iron off. Yeah. And that's the, so the white one you can just iron off. The blue and the pink one are you have to like spritz them off or get oh, them off right. that way. Yeah. So white is iron off, blue and pink. You have to get some type of spritz, water, something yeah. mm -hmm. um, to get it off. Um, yeah. It also so any kind of soft too. cleaner will come off or on a, definitely in the wash it's yeah, going to come off. Yeah, it'll come off in the wash as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the white one is an iron off one. Yep. Um, any effects on the fabric? For the Easy Thread, no. Oh, easy thread. Nope. Nope. No, no effects, effects on the on fabric. The fabric. Um, and it's called Easy Thread. Somebody's asked what we were putting on. Um, we are so happy so many people from yeah, all over awesome. are watching us. We're so um, glad that you're here. Are you going to post this video? I came in halfway through. Well, thanks for showing up. Appreciate yes. that. <laughs> um, the video will be posted to Facebook and our YouTube channel. Yeah, as soon, as soon as we cut the live, it takes a few minutes to buffer, and then it's there for you. Yep. So we're excited about that. What we, you know something else we need to talk about? Uh-huh. Was our three segments that we did. That oh, amazing yeah. video that we yeah, had so much fun yeah, doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. All right. So if you haven't had a chance, we have some really good footage for you to watch. Okay. Just go ahead and plan on an hour, you know, have your little popcorn, and you can watch three episodes of Corey and I interviewing Linda and Rick Taylor up in Wyoming. Um, we really enjoyed this process. Um, we flew up there. We had, it was snowy and fun, but we got to have the chance to sit down and talk to her and ask her all these questions that people had asked us all these years um, about and that we th I actually didn't even know about some of them. I thought I knew it all, but I really didn't know. About yeah, some she of had a stuff. lot of stories. It was a, it was a great it was a privilege. Yeah, to it was definitely there. a privilege to go there. So make sure you start with episode one and go all the way through episode three. And at the end of episode three, make sure you answer. There are three questions to answer over the course of those videos. Yes. She kind of drops hints, and you will be entered in to win some of her first samplers, yeah. autographed books, all sorts of stuff like that from her. She was yeah. There. We, we have were all twenty very five items we're giving away. So and why are we giving 25? We are celebrating 25 years in business this yes. year, which is awesome. Um, which yes. is amazing. Yeah, so Linda's Ledger Quilters has officially been in business for 25 years this year. Uh, Darren and I actually bought it in 2012. Corey came on with us, and we've been working really hard ever since. But it shows, the story shows how it all merged together. It tells you anything oh, you could started. possibly know about us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> welcome to the family. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's really good. So you definitely want to watch the whole segment all the way through. 
uh, just grab your popcorn. You'll enjoy it. It's yeah. really good. Yeah, I people, still watch it over and over again. <laughs> yeah, people are saying they absolutely they like it a lot. It's oh, good, show. good. I'm glad you people have been able to. Okay, and so. And um, I guess last but not least, we had one more question about the uh, product that we put on the thread. It's called Ease Thread, mm -hmm. and we uh, it's a, we sell it. Uh, what's the word? Just exclusively. <laughs> it's been a day, um, and so it just goes. Alongside of a thread, just like that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. awesome. If we have a store, we will sell it wholesale to you to be able to sell to your customers, but we are the producers of it here. Correct. So we have it here. We bottle it and everything. Yeah. So. Um, I guess we have one more thing. Let us know what you thought about sound. These yes. are new mics as well. Yes, new mics. So excited. <laughs> um, I got a new light and new mics. I feel fancy. Um, <laughs> you should. I know, I do. Buy more batting. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Um, but let us know what you think about sound. We are here for you. Yes. Um, our primary goal is to help you you know, achieve your business dreams, achieve your quilting dreams, yeah. and get all that education to you from the comfort of your own home. So we're trying to always amp up our technology to uh -huh. keep it up for you. And we've had a lot of questions, people calling, you know, just kind of concerned about us still being open. Uh, we are following all the CDC guidelines. The reason we are is because we have so many businesses that still need the supplies, so we are shipping constantly to make sure that you guys have what you need to be able to continue doing your businesses so we are like you said we are here for you that's why we're here uh -huh. um so anyway we're just we're just excited so if there's know. any um other questions definitely please let us know let's give one last look at questions oh, yeah. and then we'll go um some court asked where do you watch the videos so all of our videos are going to be on youtube mm -hmm. we do have a youtube channel it's under linda's electric quilters we'll make sure we have the links but if you go back to that channel you will see over a hundred videos i don't even remember there's tons I've of lost them. track yeah. of how many we do videos that we've been posting since about 2014 so you can watch all kinds of footage while you're sitting at home um, and then we also have some older footage on facebook and now we've combined the two so either yes. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. So Depending on whatever, whatever streaming platform you want to watch on. Yeah. A um, couple of things on sound. Thank you very much. I know exactly what the interference was. That was my fault, so that's my apologies. Um, but other than that, I think we're good. Yay. Yeah. All righty. Again, well, everyone, thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Hopefully you enjoyed our Q&A. If you like Q&As, let us know, and we will do them more often. We have fun with them. We were happy to answer questions and talk to you and answer Anything that you can think of mm -hmm. that's quilting related. Yep. There we go. Alrighty. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.